Hey y'all, Sai here! Well, I finished the roll top desk for my mom! So, this video, I'm going to start where I left off on the last video. I decided to put matching handles on the timbre door. So I measured to make them in line with the drawer handles. Then I measured and drilled the holes, but didn't want to attach them until after I had the finish on the wood. So the top of the desk has this thing with the spindles. And we have some spindles. Voila! Okay, we have them in the door here, and they're not going to be this long, but they're going to go like this. Two here, and then like that. So I measured the distance between the screws in the top, and I marked along the back where each spindle would go. This is kind of scary. Gonna drill holes in it. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna drill holes in it. I put some blue tape on the drill so it wouldn't drill too deep. Then I used an awl to make a divot for the drill bit to follow, or a little pilot hole. Then I drilled those holes. And I did add another board underneath and back to give support to this board. And where those four screws were, I took them out and I drilled there too so I could sink the screw into it. Woo! Yeah, okay. Then I tried in a few of them. Except they're not going to be this long. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, cool. Then I cut them down. And tried them in again, but thought they looked a little tall yet. So I cut one down some more, and I thought that looked better. So cut the rest of them down. And that did look better. But I took them off again to put some Rubio Monocoat on them. And this wood is pine or something, but I think it matched really well with the Rubio on it. I also put some on the pigeonhole. And on the back part of the desk, and on the insides of the upper panels, and everywhere else that didn't have any on it yet. It was quite the chore putting it on the timbre slats. I opened it up so I could get those very back slats. And first I was using a rag, but then found using a toothbrush really got in between those slats really well. So I wiped it on a few sections at a time and then wiped it off. Then went to the front and I did the same thing. And I let those cure up overnight. The next day or so I put on the handles, but I ended up taking them off because they were loose. Later, husband suggested using washers with grommets and that did the trick. Then I put the pigeonhole in, and I was able to put it in the front this time instead of from the back. And I don't know why, but I was able to this time. And I checked to make sure that the door wasn't impinged. Then I cut off the excess timbre cloth that was hanging down. Then put the knobs on the little drawers and put them in place. Then put the spindles in place and glued them. Checking the height and stuff along the way. Then I asked husband to router some more molding for me and this will go on top of the spindles. Then I cut some miters in them and I checked it out on the spindles. Then measured and cut the other sides, then sanded them, and put Rubio monocoat on them. 
Then I worked on the backing piece of plywood. It needed a little trimming, so I used the hand plane. Before I put the plywood on, I added another little board. The plans called for one, but it was too long, and it was in the way of the timbre sliding, so I tossed it. But this one is smaller and works well for the backer to sit against. Well, I'm waiting for a finish to dry on one part and glue to dry on another part, so I think I am going to do something I've been wanting to do to one of these drawers, and that's this one. This drawer has this in it. That kind of looks like a spider. And I don't want for mom to open the drawer and go, a spider! So I'm going to paint a butterfly there. Put a good sized butterfly there. So I heat transferred the butterfly. There. Yay! So I'm gonna paint it yellow and orange. I don't know if that would have ever bothered my mom, but it bothers me, so I'm going to paint it. This is acrylic paint. Let's put a little orange on those wings. And I sanded off a little overflow. There. Yay! That's much better. When the time came, I removed the clamps and I brad nailed that back piece of plywood in place. Does. Next was to add the molding to the spindles. I asked husband to come in and help hold it in place while I marked where to drill the center hole. Then I drilled that first hole, sinking it to allow room for a plug. Then I put it in place. Then marked all the areas where the spindles were, removed it, and drilled more holes. Then I put the screws in a little bit and drove them in just enough to make a small divot so I could see where to put the pilot holes in the spindles. Then I removed it and drilled those pilot holes, then put the screws back into the board and drove them into the spindles. Then I added the small side molding boards. I used a little glue in the corner and placed the screw and then used a corner clamp to hold it and did the same thing on the other side. Then I took some monkey pod and used my little handy plug drill bit and drilled some plugs. Then popped them out with a flathead screwdriver and tried them in and then glued them in. Later I removed those corner clamps and chiseled off the protruding part of the plugs and sanded it. Then added Rubio to this molding board and this was the last thing that needed some finish applied. Okay, it's the 30th of June and it's done. Ah! Yeah! I'm so excited to take it to my mom. Set that back a little bit and we can see how it works. Something like that. And we have these mini boards. We have these drawers.
Then we took it to my mom's house and delivered it. After they got it all in place, mom shed a few tears. It's beautiful, thank you to me. You're welcome. <sighs> and she started moving things into it right away. <laughs> mom was really happy and I had fun delivering it. And that makes it worth it right there. I think I'll do a question and answer video. If there are things that you folks want to know that I didn't cover in the nine videos that I made of this build. So if you do have questions, please put it in the comments or send me an email. And if I have enough, then I'll make a video. So thanks for watching as I built this desk. I feel so honored that my mom believed that I could do it. And I am so thankful for all of the tips that everyone gave me out there and the encouragement. It really helped. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye!